Sister wives, Cody was just spotted at a Las Vegas mall. Are he and Robin into shopping? Cody Brown and his fourth wife Robin Brown have been criticized over their spending habits. They both seem to have a passion for retail therapy Cody and Robin Brown have been criticized due to their spending habits. Cody's own daughter Gwendolyn has called her father and Robin out for buying too many things. Cody's extravagant purchases, like a $1,100 pendant, have led to backlash from fans, this is probably because Janelle Brown complained about her money woes on screen. Cody and Robin live in a luxurious $900,000 home. In Sister Wives Season 18, Janelle occupied a cheap rental apartment with a tiny kitchen as shock over the tragic death of Garrison Brown reverberates through the Sister Wives universe, Cody and Robin Brown may be drowning their sorrows with retail therapy. When the series premiered in 2010, Cody was married to his first three wives, Mary, Janelle, and Christine Brown. Cody, his spouses, and their many children all lived in a large house in Utah. Each wife had her own wing where she lived with her children. During Sister Wives Season 1, Cody married his fourth wife, Robin. He moved the Brown family out of Utah and into four separate homes in Arizona, and then Las Vegas. This divided the family and Cody had less time for each of his wives and children. COVID-19 also wreaked havoc, exposing existing resentments and rifts. During Sister Wives Season 18, Christine left Cody and two other wives would soon do the same. That's why Cody ended up in an accidentally monogamous relationship with Robin. Through the years, Cody and Robin have been criticized for hanging out at malls. Recently, Cody and Robin were spotted at Caesars Palace Mall in Las Vegas, Nevada, and it's possible that Cody and Robin are shopping right now while spending time in Sin City. This high-end mall is home to many luxurious stores, including Gucci, Burberry, and Fendi. The sighting is enough to make one wonder if Cody and Robin, who are mourning Garrison's tragic death, are numbing their pain by buying things Cody and Robin often get shade for their financial choices. The Browns invested a lot of their family savings to buy some Coyote Pass land in Arizona, they hoped to develop it and live there someday. When it was time for Janelle to find a house, her money was tied up at Coyote Pass. Instead of helping her, Cody bought a large home for Robin. Left to fend for herself, Janelle had to live in a trailer on the land until she got her own apartment. She later left Cody. Gwendolyn Brown said Cody overspends fans aren't the only ones criticizing Cody and Robin's spending habits. In March 2023, Cody and Christine's daughter, Gwendolyn Brown, posted a YouTube video in which she watches a Sister Wives episode and reacts. In the clip, Gwendolyn talks about her concerns about her father and Robin's financial choices. While answering a fan's question, Gwendolyn said, I think that my dad and Robin have a terrible habit of spending very crazy and, like, not within their means at all. Not only did Gwendolyn accuse Cody and Robin of overspending, but she went on to say that Christine, Janelle, and Mary would be better off without her dad. She even said that Cody's other wives totally deserve the money he has spent with Robin. Since marrying Robin, Cody has struggled to maintain good relationships with his older children. Prior to Garrison's tragic death by suicide, Cody had been feuding with his sons for not following his strict COVID-19 rules Cody attended the graduation of his daughter Savannah Brown, and, in May 2023, Savannah posted a photo of her and her father at the event. Eagle-eyed Sister Wives fans noticed the lavish necklace hanging around Cody's neck. Internet sleuths got to work and determined that the necklace was a sterling silver shield amulet necklace designed by David Yerman. It features lapis lazuli and sapphire and retails for about $1,100. Fans were disgusted by the fact that Cody spends so much money on himself, considering the financial troubles that some Sister Wives fans have found themselves in. Cody once defended himself, saying, I'm separated from my children because they kicked me out of my home. I haven't had the emotional fortitude to reach out. In addition to spending on himself, Cody has showered Robin and her children with gifts. One example of Cody's not spending enough on his other families was shown in Sister Wives Season 18, he didn't give Savannah anything for Christmas. Savannah said, I was really sad, it's my dad. Now I'm just angry at him. No gifts, nothing. Christine and Janelle were also baffled by the situation. However, Cody defended himself by stating, I'm separated from my children because they kicked me out of my home. I haven't had the emotional fortitude to reach out. 
Cody and Robin Brown live in a fancy house according to Daily Mail. In 2019, Cody and Robin closed escrow on a 4,400-square-foot, 5-bedroom, 4-bathroom home in Flagstaff, Arizona for a whopping $900,000. The rustic-style property boasts a massive kitchen and scenic views of acres of woodland, an underfloor heating system, two master suites, a heated driveway and an expansive deck. According to Coconino County legal documents obtained by Daily Mail, the deal went through on August 30th, listing Cody and Robin as the owners on the official deed. The house purchase seemed to prove that Robin was Cody's favorite wife Robin is getting the best place to live. Even her previous rental home in Flagstaff was almost 7,000 square feet. Basically double the size of the other three wives' homes. Although Robin once said that she did not want to live in a heavily wooded area due to forest fires, she clearly changed her mind. The home was only on the market for a month before Cody and Robin snapped it up. Robin is getting the best place to live, a source told Daily Mail. Even her previous rental home in Flagstaff was almost 7,000 square feet basically double the size of the other three wives' homes. Sister Wives, Janelle Brown's using social media to cope how she's staying connected to fans. Sister Wives Janelle Brown has been dealing with the passing of her son Garrison Brown as best she can, even using social media to connect with fans. Janelle Brown is using social media to cope after losing son Garrison, finding comfort and support from Sister Wives viewers. Janelle's heartfelt tribute to Garrison on social media was her first step in processing her grief and finding solace. Despite her private nature, Janelle is sharing personal moments online, cherishing memories of her family and her son Sister Wives star Janelle Brown has been working through one of the most difficult times in her life after losing son Garrison Brown, but she's been using social media to cope and stay connected to fans of the long-running series. Janelle, who has been appearing on Sister Wives for the duration of its 18-season run, has been having a difficult time mourning her son and figuring out what's next for her in her life. While her marriage to Cody Brown has dissolved in the last few years, Janelle has been leaning on her family to get through this difficult time. When Garrison's death was announced publicly, there was an outpouring of support for the Brown family, and especially for Janelle. After watching her on Sister Wives season 18 and understanding the difficulties she'd faced in leaving Cody, as well as the issues Garrison and her other children had been having with their father, viewers felt genuinely hurt for Janelle in her difficult time. Knowing that after going through such turmoil, Janelle was now facing an even more difficult struggle pushed viewers to try to comfort her. Using social media, Janelle has connected with viewers who are truly hoping to help after losing Garrison, Janelle shared a moving tribute that came from both herself and Cody. The Sister Wives star shared that she was heartbroken to lose her son, and memorialized him on social media as best she could in the difficult state. In her post, Janelle shared that her son was a bright spot in the lives of all who knew him. His loss will leave such a big hole in our lives that it takes our breath away. The photos she chose along with their sweet caption moved Sister Wives viewers, who were looking for closure of their own, while Janelle has limited comments on the post, making it clear that she was making it for herself and Cody to share a statement about the tragic event, the fact that she quickly opened up to social media was surprising to some Sister Wives viewers. Throughout the run of the series, Janelle has been somewhat quieter about her private life when it isn't featured on the show. In opening up the dialogue about Garrison's passing without allowing comments from her followers, Janelle was able to speak on the tragedy without anyone else's input. Heartbroken, she opened up about her son. Janelle shared the last photo she has of her family all together while she was going through her initial waves of grief, Janelle chose to share the last photo she had with all of her children during the 2023 holiday season. In a photo posted to her Instagram, Janelle and her kids are all shown smiling for the camera. Janelle explained that she was happy to have a photo with all of her kids, showing off her beautiful family that she'd be able to remember Garrison by. On this post, Janelle heard from Sister Wives viewers as well as friends in the comments, all hoping to support her in this difficult time. Janelle shared photos from Garrison's celebration of life. Although Garrison's funeral and the aftermath of his death will likely be kept private for the Brown family, the Sister Wives star chose to share some photos from the event. While Janelle kept her caption primarily focused on the event, she did share that the support has been overwhelming. I am honored. So many of you shared stories of your loved ones.
She explained that the photos may have been seen online by some, but she wanted to share them herself and show the celebration of Garrison's life, which included his National Guard unit offering a flag in his honor. Janelle's thankful to have the support of her family and sister wives viewers although Janelle has a rough road ahead as she tries to grieve her son to the best of her abilities, she shared online that she's thankful to have support from her large family and the sister wives community. In sharing her own grief, Janelle's been able to hear from others who are in her situation or have been in the past, making connections beyond her wildest imagination. Explaining in her most recent post that she's been even more grateful for my faith this year, Janelle shared that she spent Easter in North Carolina, receiving well wishes from Sister Wives viewers. Sister Wives star Michael T. Padron, Nay Brown, slammed the Nevada National Guard for releasing photos from her brother Robert Garrison Brown's memorial service. Michael T., 27, admitted she and her family were all pretty upset that the military shared photos from the service on March 24 during a Patreon video on March 27, which was later shared by blogger without a crystal ball after noting that the Brown family didn't give their permission for the photos to be released, Michael T. said that some of her siblings have been trying to help her calm down about the situation. If we were any other family and the National Guard did that to any other family, it would be totally cool, she said. My family has a big guard up because we are public and we're not any other family because of how public we are while she pointed out that the National Guard and Garrison's military friends were also mourning the loss of the former reality star, Michael T. explained that she and her family were under scrutiny after the photos were released. Not only did people start speculating that Michael T. was pregnant due to her outfit, but her husband, Tony Padron, was called out for wearing a hat during the service. No matter what, people find something where they can scrutinize instead of just, like, letting us mourn, she continued. Tony, 29, added that he felt triggered that the photos were released, while Michael T. said she hoped Garrison's mother, Janelle Brown, is able to get the photos Garrison died at the age of 25 following an apparent suicide on March 5th. Shortly after news of his passing broke, Janelle, 54, and Cody Brown issued a joint statement confirming their son's death. We are deeply saddened to announce the loss of our beautiful boy Robert Garrison Brown, the pair, who split in December 2022, said at the time. He was a bright spot in the lives of all who knew him. His loss will leave such a big hole in our lives that it takes our breath away. We ask that you please respect our privacy and join us in honoring his memory Janelle has continued to remember Garrison on social media, while she reflected on having the Nevada National Guard at the service in an Instagram post on March 31. It's been hard to get my brain to work properly again, the mother of six captioned photos from the service. I am so grateful for the outpouring of love and support I've received these last three weeks. The support has been overwhelming. I am honored. So many of you shared stories of your loved ones. So many of you wrote of your thoughts and prayers. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Janelle concluded the caption by acknowledging that the photos had already been released online. I am sharing some of the photos, she wrote. Many, of, you have already seen a lot of these online, often with snarky comments accompanying them. But this was a beautiful moment for us.